so good morning from the Bahamas it is half past ten in the morning and um, we got in to uh, the dock over there um, about eight o'clock this morning and had some breakfast um, hmm. the joy just went to get a bean bag and it's uh, full of bird poo. So we had dinner last night, 9.30 sitting. Finished dinner around quarter past 10. I went straight to bed. Um, yeah, I'm a bit, I'm a bit miffed off. Um, needless to say, I am not very impressed with MSC. Um, at all and, and staff um, so as you know bags went missing no one came to um, phoned guest services um, no answer request to call back no answer so I went down go and try this room where all the lost and found luggage is not there oh, well, go and try this room so I went and tried that room and there was my lonely little case. No labels on it whatsoever. They'd all been ripped off. So I wasn't impressed with that. I wasn't impressed that we've been allocated late dining, even though we requested early dining. Um, this morning I went in to breakfast wearing this. Told to go away. Uh, they don't allow sleeveless tops in the restaurant area so I had to go this was on deck 5 so I had to go all the way back up to deck 12 where we are and get a t-shirt on so I kicked off royally with the manager um, and they set us in a very nice quiet spot um, and we've also changed our di dining plan our dining time to 7.15 so I'm a little, a little bit more happier at that, but I still feel annoyed um, at the fact that you have to pay for everything. Anyway, let's try and enjoy the day. Bye for now.
so after tea we decided to catch a show which wasn't too bad um it was completely weird it was called peter punk and it was like peter pan so just after the show we decided uh to go and catch the light show from ocean keys lighthouse so overall it was a uh, looked really good um what we could see of it um we decided to opt for deck 18 and looking out um in hindsight looking back it wasn't the best choice because uh, the light from the ship was affecting the camera quite badly and it was in an area where we really shouldn't have been it was in the uh, spa area um but we did get some nice little bits of footage so here it is Hi guys, I haven't actually done much blogging, vlogging today, um, this is the first one, so I'm actually going to do two days in one vlog. So today we, uh, well we've just been, uh, we've just been pushed away from uh, Ocean K, so that's the uh, tugboat uh, just in case we drift too far across and we hit the, uh, the boys that are along there. Uh, so you can see we're just pushing out. Anyway, um, we had breakfast, uh, then we went to the spa, um, and we spent pretty much most of the morning in, in the spa area. Um, weren't really allowed to film much in there. Uh, then we went out and had some lunch, then we came back to the cabin. Um, and we didn't really want to do much on Ocean K because we'd pretty much spent most of um, yesterday morning there. There's nothing really much else to do. Um, ping pong. Mm. Wrong announcement. the play there, time to say goodbye over the PA. Anyway, 
want to spin the camera back round. So this is the onboard ship's camera, so this is in the front of the ship um, and it goes off from time to time so you can see we are actually starting to move off and it just goes off and then comes back whenever it likes. And then at night you can't see Jack Hall because they've got the infrared light inside the dome that the camera is so it's hitting the glass so at night you can't see anything well done MSC well done here we're getting awful close to that aren't we we're gonna there Oh god, that's three but long blasts of the ship's horn. We're gonna have to get off. Review MSC when it came to the cruise and I was just documenting our experience. Um, however, since boarding, things have been a little um, out of sort. So, first one was the luggage uh, disappearing and taking about four hours to actually arrive to our cabin. Um, second thing was the 9.30 dining, which we have managed to sort out, and we're now on a 7.15 dining. Um, third thing was being told to disappear from the restaurant because he was wearing a sleeveless top, um, which was slightly embarrassing. Um, not many of the staff are very friendly, they're very abrupt um, and some of them are very condescending um, which I don't really really appreciate that um, it's cabin steward keeps unplugging our devices when we've uh, left them to charge so for example my watch was dead this morning left it to charge as we went for breakfast came back and it had been unplugged so I had a flat watch for a few hours. Um, just multiple things. Um, it makes me not want to travel with MSC ever again. Um, but we'll see how the rest, we're only on day three. So we'll see how the day at sea goes tomorrow. But then uh, Costa Maya, Cozumel, 
and then back a day at sea. Oh, here's another thing. Um, I booked my um, spa appointment for day seven at sea for um, about five o'clock. It was written on the appointment card for five o'clock. Check the MSC Me and Me for Me app. And it would have been booked in for seven o'clock, which is our dining time. So I went to see him today. Um, yeah, it indeed been booked in for seven o'clock. And I was like, that's no good, that's my dining time. So it's changed it to 11.30. So it's just, it's, it's like a comedy of errors. So hopefully, I have been to the uh, guest services and, and made a list of comedy of errors. The lifts are a joke. Like you press your button, it tells you which cart to get in. So you go and queue up the car and it's full. So then you have to then wait for the other the cart. That's then full. So you then wait in a good 15, 20 minutes for the lift. We're on deck 12 and our dining room is on deck 5. So <clears throat> going up the stairs is, is, is a bit difficult because everything's up. Um... So, yeah. Hmm. Don't know what else to say. Um, we got a quiz tonight. Quiz tonight. Well, I've asked them to eat tonight. Um, yeah, so I'll probably speak to you later now. But this is my little video, video rant about MSC and the staff on MSC Seaside. Bye for now. So after tea we uh, went into the Haven Lounge and we had a couple of drinks each uh, and then we did the quiz which wasn't really a quiz and it wasn't even anything to do with rock. So um, back in the cabin, um, all ready for bed, we've had a couple of drinks, um, the quiz really wasn't a quiz, um, it was Pete, the entertainment train dressed up as the as rock legends um, and then you had to sort of beat the intro uh, which was related to that said rock legend rock legends were Amy Winehouse Tina Turner Madonna and Freddie Mercury like neither of them are rock oh, none of them are really rock legends the only person there was Freddie Mercury Who's a rock legend? The rest of them are awful. Pop? Jesus Christ. This is, and uh, last one. Got it. Radio Gaga. Some guy from New Orleans or wherever he was from uh, decided to get up, answer the question. Didn't, didn't even get it right, but the guy then decided to give him about 15 attempts. I was then ready to pounce in there and go and sit on the chair. Some woman then came rushing up and got in before me and then said, Radio Gaga. Anyway, time for bed. If you like the video, please like and subscribe and comment below. Um, comments are much appreciated. None of you really commenting, though. Because um, I don't know whether I'm doing it right. These are like my first time doing vlogs. And I don't know whether I'm doing anything right or not. Um, I have had a dr two drinks. Two Long Island iced teas. So I might be just a little bit... Um, yeah. Anyway. Like, subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now.